So long, silent movies, the quiet dances on the screen. So long, burning slowly, smelling sweat and kerosene. Good afternoon, everyone. It is so cold. We are here in Incheon again. We're gonna be bopping around kind of all over exploring. Um, and so once again, thank you to Incheon Tourism for collaborating with me on this video. Check out their Instagram. They make Incheon look as beautiful as it truly is. We're gonna do a bunch of different things today. Kind of a weird collection of things that have been on my list that I just haven't been able to get to. It's really cold, um, so we're gonna power walk over to our first stop, which is a cafe to get me some brunch to power me through the day. And uh, yeah, there's like just this lovely park. I took the subway over here, lovely day. So yeah, let's hit the flower cafe and then let's go chase some windmills. Hmm? <laughs> goodness that was so <laughs> delicious i just wanted to stay in there forever it was just so nice but we are heading oh green light um we are heading to a park i'm so blurry let me just tell you let me get a taxi and let me tell you what we're doing when we get there does that sound good okay bye okay we've arrived i'm slightly more put together i think a little of the sugar has worn off we are at the sore marsh what am i trying to say ecological park yes so this is a huge swath of land um that used to be a like salt refinery place but now it has just become a place to celebrate all of the wildlife that lives here and stuff so we're gonna walk around they are famous for their they have like oh did you see him? He smiled at me. Um, they have like windmills and stuff. So um, we're just gonna walk around and explore. I think a lot of like music videos and stuff have been filmed here. There's a lot of ducks. There are ducklings. Okay, let's focus. Let's look. <laughs> like salt fields in the 50s all the way up to the 80s so they would just fill this with like salt water and it would evaporate and you would get salt and then there's also a cafe you can sit at like this is there's a lot of stuff here there's a lot of people walking around a lot of people riding bikes it's cute um there are just so many birds like i don't know if you can hear them but they're everywhere and every type so this is exciting scary but exciting um let's head to the windmills what is this building this looks old as hell planet um something about walking like straight on the marsh 
and being kind of alone except for those two people. Um, definitely feeling like I'm exploring space. <laughs> Also, because there are all these birds hidden in the trees, I just keep hearing rustling. I don't know, it's a very weird feeling. Also, today is just kind of spooky in general. Um, this is very famous during autumn because as you can see, it's all of the like golden grass. Um, it's also really famous for if you are a professional photographer or just someone who wants to be. Um, in the morning, specifically this park, gets really really um covered in fog and so a lot of people come here and take photos of the windmills kind of rising out of the fog it's really cool um so this is definitely a cool place too if you're looking to do any kind of photography or you're interested in bird watching and all that stuff this is really cool this kind of reminds me of the lagoons by my old house in san diego so feel like space feel like i'm at home interesting mix um but gorgeous and smells great. Kind of salty, kind of oceany. I like it, I like it a lot. <laughs> See the rustling? There are creatures in there. I guess it's just birds, but man, it sounds bigger. But okay, guys. one point but I know where I am now. It's hard because the grasses are so tall you can't see where the trail is. I'm gonna head towards our next destination um, slowly. This was just really lovely. I came on kind of a dreary day but it feels very atmospheric. Yeah this was really lovely. I feel very calm um, but again like autumn this is packed. It is busy. <laughs> Um, just because it's so gorgeous. So anyway, I'm going to try and find the subway and we're gonna head to the west coast. Let's go. So in Korea, a lot of cities or neighborhoods will have a mascot that represents something special about them. And um, this particular part of Incheon, Namtonggu, has crab boy and shrimp girl. <laughs> I'm happy for them. <laughs> okay, it's raining. It's just what it is. Um, we are, if you can't tell from the background, I didn't want to get in their picture, we're in Chinatown. <laughs> so um, I'm going to just kind of walk around. I'm not super hungry yet. I'm going to kind of take a little tour, show you around. We've been here before, but everything changes. So um, walk around, then we're going to hit this place that actually is a normal Chinese restaurant, but it has a whole vegan menu. And there are a lot of things I've never had because 
oops, <laughs> because um, I, it has meat in it. So I'm really excited and um, yeah, let's look around. It's still raining. Did I say that? It's still raining. <laughs> in Chinatown in Korea um, but I, I got tea <laughs> and I'm sitting outside because I think that this might be the last time we can really sit outside for a while first of all the air is so clean um, but yeah pretty soon it's gonna be too cold so I'm taking advantage with my hot drink this is like an Earl Grey and peach mixture. Sorry about the heater if you can't even hear me, but um, Chinatown's an interesting mix of like, it became a little touristy and then it didn't. And now there's like all these trendy things popping up and there's still a lot of, like there's a huge population of Koreans who lived in China and came back to Korea. Um, so it's just a, it's like an interesting vibe here and it's constantly changing. Um, so. Even though I've come here two or three times at this point, it's never the same place. Like this is brand new, this whole place. So yeah, we're going to walk around and then maybe have jajangmyeon, which I never have, so. If this is the museum of Chajangmyeon, um, I think we should go eat some. So let's head to the restaurant. Honestly, a lot of places are closed right now. It's kind of like a weird time. Um, so I will come back another time when it's more lively, but let's head to the restaurant, check out their vegan menu. I'm so excited. I'm not hungry whatsoever, but I'm excited. God, it feels like spirited away before the lights come on. I really hope this place is open. Oh my God. I'm going to be so sad. Is that you? Oh, it's open. Oh, thank God. So good. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I've had jajang before. It contains pork. Um, it's not super yummy. Like it's it's just very salty. It's good for like a couple bites. And then I'm just like, absolutely not. Um, it, oftentimes you get it even with bokumbap. Yeah, it contains like big hunks of pork, which I take out, but like it still is pretty pork, 
porky. <laughs> um, this was, first of all, soy meat that tasted really good. Mushrooms, onions, bell peppers. It was so delicious. Still definitely salty. Hits all the things you want from jajangmyeon, but I was so impressed. Like, I did not expect to finish that. I'm full and I kind of regret it, but I highly recommend. Like, I was actually, I was going in there thinking, like, whatever. Our last stop, we're gonna hit a park. They're having like a light festival and I wanna see it. It's raining though, so we'll just play it by ear. It's not raining that badly. Um, so yeah, I have to catch a bus that will take us right there, walk around the park, and then we're gonna head home. So this was kind of my like tour of Inchon things that have been on my list for forever and I just haven't done them. So I'm really happy that uh, I brought you along. This was actually like um, everything exceeded my expectations. Every single thing, which was great. So I'm gonna go catch a bus, not get hit by any cars. And uh, yeah, see you at Subong Park. Another case of me forgetting that neighbor doesn't tell you incline. So I thought like, oh, it's gonna be a really easy walk. I forgot that I'm literally climbing a mountain. So I started way down there. So um, we're heading to Subong Park, which is around Subong Mountain. And we're going to there, I believe it's called Byalbit Chukje. Starlight Festival. I'm gonna focus on climbing this hill. <laughs> It goes straight up. I can't even count how many stairs there are. Oh no. <laughs> we made it up the stairs, but the lights weren't on. <laughs> um, there's supposed to be a part that's like a big tunnel and it looks like you're walking through a tunnel of stars. It wasn't turned on, <laughs> which is a bummer, but I saw. They're big moths. Um, I saw that there were lights on in the rest of the park, so we're gonna continue, but we're up high, guys. Look at this view. <laughs> in what will be a surprise to no one, um, I was wrong, I took a wrong turn. So the lights are there. Do not climb the stairs. Go up the very normal slope, the road, the paved road. Let's try that again, shall we? We got my heart rate up. <laughs> now I'm excited. Let's go. Whoa, wait, this is, what? Where's it coming from? Let me turn down the exposure here so you can get the full They're like flashing, they're projecting it. Oh my God, it's turning purple. This is, this is beautiful. Oh my God.
you can see just all of Incheon. This is amazing. I didn't realize that we climbed so high. Have you ever experienced like walking down a lot of stairs and then by the end of it your body just forgets how to walk downstairs? It like panics even though you're good. You know how to walk downstairs but suddenly your legs are like, no, no, wait, wait. Yeah, that's me. I just walked down about a million of them. Um, but worth it, that was really cool. And so I actually missed one more section of it. It was similar to the ones that had like the, the little speckled lights flashing all over the place. Um, so I'm sad that I didn't see that, but it was way too far for me to walk at this point. It's raining really hard. So um, I'm gonna head home. This particular like light festival is open kind of indefinitely. So if you are around, check it out. It was really cool. Um, and yeah, this, as you guys know, I have been working with Inchon Tourism for the past six months and I was able to explore so many different parts of this city and I loved it. I haven't even scratched the surface, um, but this was really fun, so thank you. This is um, the end of, maybe, <laughs> of our collaboration, um, and yeah, I'm really honored that I was able to, you know, they trusted me to show you guys around. I'm so thankful that you guys explored it with me, um, and yeah, this will not be the last you see of Inchon, <laughs> but just thank you so much for being along for this project, and um, yeah, I once again, check out their Instagram, Discover Inchon, their English Instagram. Um, it's so accessible. If you're gonna come to Seoul, if you're just a traveler or if you live in Korea, it's so easy to get to Inchon. Um, and there's so much to see. It really feels like an escape. Um, I live in Seoul, so even though it's only, it took me like an hour to get here, I feel like I was just, I went to a totally new place and it was really nice. So yeah, um, overall this was just a really fun project for me. I hope that you enjoyed it too. And yeah, I'm gonna head home. Um, I can just hop on the subway and get right home, which is awesome. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get out of the rain and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. I think that our next video actually is going to be me heading to America. I'm getting my booster shot tomorrow, so wish me luck and um yeah just thank you again and i will see you guys next time okay thank you inchon bye